portion the boat do a quick walk around this to be the owner just had the bottom totally done so the hull is in perfect condition gorgeous boat dinghy that comes with it good looking dinghy as well ready totally seaworthy Let's see if I can get in there's no mold at the bottom Let's see if I can zoom in there so you can see brand new bottom Picks, pictures of the bottom or in the picture section ready to take on a lot of new adventures Got some different views deck mount a little bit take you around a little bit quick shot of the inside another zoom in brand new bottom quick peek at the helm you'll see more later on in the video the front of the dinghy comes with it contact us and if you want to see the boat or to make an offer directly it's a quick tour of the outer part walking around the vessel see the top is in strong sturdy condition ready for Tackling the elements. Another quick peek of the inside. How it looks when you're looking in. Now I'll do a quick walk around. Gorgeous boat. Everything is ready to go. Turn around, the other side, quick view. View from the other side. The control helm in the back. Here's a view of the big berth. Nice big bed. Laying on it right now. It looks like you could easily hold someone about 6'4. A little nightstand. Closet. 
storage area. Nice storage here. You can store a lot. There's cushions and sleeping bags and stuff in here. Quick view of the inner compartment. Nice big bathroom. Sink, lots of storage. Floors look amazing condition. Almost look brand new. That's not, and it's not sunny today, so that shine you see is from the, the shine of the floor. It's got a full kitchenette, lots of storage. So you can see a lot of storage here. Looks like you could really call this home for, well, great for long adventures or even a live a liveaboard. Big spacious area here. Got a Sony sound system. Icon communication. Nice flat screen TV in the corner. A lot of room. That's the first thing that jumps out. I mean, a lot of room. It's so big in here. Headroom is probably in the 6'4 area, I'm about six foot, and you can see. Got your sailing instruments, panels, lights. And take you up to the control room, steering helm, looking up from outside. As you can see, it really wasn't a sunny day, so the floors really are shining. <clears throat> control helm. Bring you out back. View from the captain's seat. Again, if you want to see the boat in person, email, call. If you'd like to make an offer, contact us immediately. This boat will not last. I'm here with the owner of the vessel and uh, I wanted to ask him uh, some questions for our audience. Now, Bill, can you tell our, our, our prospective buyers a little bit about this vessel and what you've done to it, um, you know, where you've taken her and so on? Sure. Uh, I retired eight years ago and I sold, I had a Cal 39. I sold it and bought this as I was getting older. I wanted a smaller boat, something more economical. Uh, this is a very large 30 foot boat, but it's very easy to sail. Uh, the cat rig is about as easy to sail as you can get a boat. And in the eight years I've owned it, I have upgraded everything on here or replaced it, um, including the rudder. Um, 
most people don't realize the boat gets over 20 years old and the rudders are one of the things that fails and it did on mine uh, in 2011 and I had it replaced so it's a brand new rudder. Uh, the engine is a 2003 Beta 28 and it has less than 3,000 hours on it. Uh, it's right down in here. If I, This is the engine compartment. It's perhaps a little hard to see the engine from here. Uh, but it's back in here. And this is the access to it. Uh, just to give you a little example of how it works, I'm going to start it up and shut it right off <laughs> so we don't have to listen to it. Uh, everything on it's been rebuilt. I, the starter has been rebuilt. The generator has been rebuilt, or alternator. Uh, the windless motor has been rebuilt. All the pumps are either new or been replaced, all the water pumps. The instruments are relatively new within the last three or four years. Uh, I have an electric uh, halyard uh, winch, which I installed when I bought the boat. It's a very, very large mainsail, and so it's uh, very difficult for one person to pull the main up, so I put the uh, electric halyard on. Uh, here, I'll start the engine. You just prime it for a few seconds. I usually hold it for a count of seven or eight, and then turn it all the way, and it's running. And it's, it's a 28 horsepower diesel. Uh, it will cruise at about six knots, maximum speed maybe eight knots, seven and a half, eight. Uh, probably the, the thing I'm the most proud about or the most excited about that I've done is uh, if this is a cruising boat. Uh, if you're going to race it, you'd have to make some modifications and probably take a lot of weight off of it, uh, including a 110 foot of 3 ace chain. Uh, but I really like what I've done downstairs. If I could take you downstairs for a moment. One of the uh, things that I didn't like about a non such is it had very, very poor storage in the galley area. I think most people have non suches agree with that. And so I found that I was only using the, the oven maybe once or twice a year. So I replaced it with a stovetop, which made access for several drawers to store pots and pans and silverware and all the other things. And I installed new sinks in both here and in the uh, head, a much larger sink, and again more storage for whatever you need to store. It has a 12 volt electric uh, uh, ice box, and this is it. So pretty large. I think it's uh, I think it's six or eight cubic feet, and it has a um, not sure what they call it. The block that freezes in the back, a holding plate, I think they call it. Works very well. Uh, I also changed the head a little bit. I put a, a much larger sink. And uh, of course it has a shower system. I use I don't use the shower too often. Uh, but I so I have a hanging bar. I usually hang my wet gear in the uh, head or in the shower area. has 155 gallons of water, which is a lot. Uh, three, it has two 45-gallon uh, tanks and one 65-gallon tank. Uh, not sure what else. What else you'd like to know about? Now, Bill, you you have done some um, some improvements to the hull. Can you tell our audience about that? Well, it, it, starting in 2000. The winter of 2010, 2011, I lost the rudder, so I had a new rudder uh, installed. And in last year, in 2013, I had the bottom soda blasted down to the gel coat, the original gel coat. Uh, there were a few, maybe six or eight places where blisters had been repaired, and I saw no new blisters. So I installed or put all new uh, uh, inner protect bottom protection on it and then many many coats I think there's about six coats now of micron 33 bottom so the bottom is almost brand new and ready to go wow 